Hey guys, Doug from Pine Tree Line Outdoors. We are here on the shores of the Wanapate River in the Killarney area, which many of you will have heard of. And we're actually, uh, how far are we away from uh, the town proper Killarney? Mm, about uh, half an hour away. Half an hour away, about 20 minutes away from uh, Killarney Provincial Park. And this here is uh, my good friend Jansen who I grew up with, uh, I've also worked with in the past, and uh, Jansen is uh, my resident uh, chaga expert, and we are here searching for the elusive chaga. Jansen, why is it this a good time of year to go uh, chaga hunting? Oh, once the uh, sap stops running in the tree, the uh, chaga basically becomes more potent. It's also easier to harvest uh, in the winter time because of visibility, and it's more or less just a uh, kind of a better, drier, more potent product time. Right on. And uh, of course, you've uh, gone for chaga for, uh, for many years now. Yeah. Uh, easy or hard? Um, depends on the area. In some areas, it could be uh, very elusive. It's basically one uh, tree in uh, 1100 could have it. Wow. So it's a lot of walking around, but uh, the thrill of the hunt is definitely there, you know, so. All about the adventure. Yeah. And, and the good thing about today is, uh, it's a, gonna be about plus four, uh, which is odd for this time of year, but there's not a lot of snow here. Uh, I was up north uh, uh, last week and there's about three feet of snow on the ground. No snowshoes today. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, the medicinal purposes or the medicinal benefits of chaga? I know that mm -hmm. the native peoples were, were big on chaga. Yeah. Why so? Um, basically it's just, it's uh, one of the most detoxifying uh, foods on earth apparently, and uh, it kills cancer. There's actually been doctors uh, that worked on patients with cancer and cured them. So it's got uh, kind of different properties to it. And it also uh, kind of serves as like uh, an Im immune balance uh, system. It'll actually protect your cells, kind of promote uh, creation of new cells and stronger blood. So we're not, we're, not, uh, we're not saying that it cures cancer or prevents cancer, but we can say that uh, it's been proven in uh, some petri dishes and some other and other ways that it has fought mm -hmm. against cancer. And my thing is, it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt to at least try it or use it. And uh, a lot of people do. They drink it every day uh, for that exact reason. You know, yeah. it's uh, one of the oldest medicines. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. it's beautiful here. We'll give you a look around. You'll be with us on our little journey here as we look for the uh, the elusive uh, chaga here in northern Ontario. <laughs> All right guys, so on this uh, white birch here, Jansen's found a chunk, but it's about 30 feet up. So we don't have the means to, uh, to grab it uh, being that high, but that's exactly what we're looking for. So this is a yellow birch here. And often when they'll have a kind of a a hole like that, chaga can often kind of grow in those little spots to fill those cavities. So basically we're uh, following the shoreline. Just still hoping to get the chaga so we can boil some up and, and uh, show you guys. It is elusive, as Jansen has pointed out earlier in the video. 
So we found our piece of chaga. It's just uh, we weren't able to get it. Them's the brakes uh, if we don't find any chaga moving forward. But like I said, it's an absolutely beautiful area, incredible area. The Wanapate River, uh, it's beautiful all along this river. I'm just happy to be outside. Get outside, people. Find an excuse. Go find some chaga in your area. All right, Jansen, you were a little bit ahead of me. Uh, what can you report? I have a tree with uh, two pieces of chaga. So bud, you uh, you went ahead of me there and you found some chaga. Yeah, we got some on the tree right up here. The winter wonderland back here, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so you're saying it looks like someone uh, harvested some of this chaga? It may have, it, uh, it's hard to say, but uh, we got two deposits on this tree here and uh, basically the age of the tree is good. Like you want to try to find it on an older tree rather than smaller ones. It'll still grow on uh, smaller trees, but the production of the acid in the tree is a lot more uh, great in the bigger guys, so. Right on. So I try to cut this so that I don't uh, cut too far into the tree. If I do kind of dig into the tree, the sap uh, will leak and it could kill the tree. If uh, I do a good job at kind of leaving a little bit of a piece of that chaga left in five years, it could come back and extract another piece from this uh, same location. Try to grab it so it don't fall on the ground if you can, but... And that's the interior there. That's the exterior, the very dark black, almost greasy looking exterior supposedly is the good cancer uh, fighting stuff. So basically using some uh, tape with fiber in it taping the hatchet so on a piece of uh, dead wood but this practice is very dangerous and I don't recommend it at home guy's got some nice color on the interior nice and rich looking and that's the kind of stuff you want to look for if it's really really dark inside and it's kind of past its prime but that yellow color signifies a good uh, product so as you can see up there there's enough there that it's going to grow back and Jance is very careful to leave some on the tree in both cases so it can be harvested again in the future. So these are our two pieces. And as you can see, like some of the bark uh, is embedded into it. It's kind of actually comes out of the tree and kind of takes the bark with it. So basically to harvest this, I'll usually trim some of that bark out of there. And there'll be a lot of impurities within this chunk. So as I dry it out, like I'll break it small. And as I'm drying it out, I'll find a lot of the impurities inside of it and pick them out during the drying process just to make it uh, more pure. You could boil a fresh chunk or uh, drying it and uh, keeping it in an airtight container. It'll last for two years, like the, the medicinal properties kind of thing.
boil. You don't want to go too crazy with the boil, just a nice uh, low simmer. Okay, so I'm using just some uh, pine needles to kind of filter out some of the heavier parts of the chaga. So I just put that right over top of the cup. It'll stay there. And there's our chaga tea. It's pretty dark. You can see the pieces are getting caught on top. There it is, nice and dark. Cheers. All right, cheers. All right, Chaga, here we go. This could keep you alive in the bush. It's not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit of a, kind of a woodsy taste a bit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll have like a light vanilla taste. Just to yeah, it's, it's not yeah. bitter or tart at all. It's uh, yeah. It's actually really good. Anything else you want to add? I mean, I, I, I think like the biggest take from this that I get is there's no harm in drinking this. So mm -hmm. if it has medicinal purposes, yeah. whether you believe it or not, uh, it's worth having a cup uh, a week or a cup a day or something like yeah. that. Like what I do is I'll uh, put boiling water in a thermos and add chaga to it and I let it stand for about 24 hours and then uh, I'll basically have like a cup a day and uh, it has a lot of good health benefits to it. And given the fact that it's like it can stay for two years, yeah, I think you alluded to it before, but do you want to keep that in a Ziploc or some, a sealed bag or something? Sealed uh, glass container is the best uh, container for it, kind of thing. Like so, a mason jar or something. Yeah, you will see Jansen again. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into why or how, but uh, Jansen and I have been talking about a lot of uh, different ideas. He, he, this guy is really a, a talented young man. Does a lot of different things and. Uh, we're going to see some of that in the, in the future, but I really appreciate him coming out. And uh, as we're getting uh, <laughs> we're getting uh, some chunks of snow as it's warming up, he is uh, a Chaga expert, and uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, that's about it, guys. If you uh, like what you're seeing here, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. That would be great as well. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. PTLoutdoors.com is the uh, website, and there's apparel on there uh, as well if you're interested in that kind of thing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.